the night is dark and silent. I decide to leave the house. The family is asleep. Something is calling me to myself. The whisper of an unknown world sounds in my head, stirring my soul. I quietly open the door, trying not to awaken a single soul. Everyone around me seems to be holding their breath, waiting for me to come out. Step by step, I approach the old mine, which beckons me with its mysterious magnetism. I realize that it is my destiny to meet this mysterious creature and die to begin a new journey. Darkness envelops me. The world disappears around me. I sink into eternal sleep, realizing that my destiny is bound to this unknown world where fears end and new possibilities begin. Goodbye, my world. I am going to meet the unknown. Good morning, family. Oh, no, where is Bingo gone? What happened to her? I can't believe that. While we were sleeping, she ran away from home. I hope she's okay, Bluey. Me and my mom will go look for her and you stay home. We don't want to lose you. We set out to find Bingo with husband. Every step sounds louder in my soul. Every breath a reminder of how dear our doggy is to us. We search every corner, hoping to hear her bark, to see her cheerful face. But when we finally discover her breathless body, the world crumbles like a castle map. Like a thousand knives stabbing at my heart, I can't believe our favorite pet is out of our lives. There is no time to be lost in tears and sobs. We must pay us our last respects to our faithful daughter. We carry Bingo's body together to the church, each step weighted with sadness and longing. We are facing a tragedy that has hit our family like a hammer. My heart bleeds with pain seeing my wife in tears, experiencing such an unbearable loss. Our daughter, our little girl, where has your smile gone? But I know this is no time for weakness or panic. My role is to be strong, to be a wall of support for you, for us. We have to get through this together, even if it seems unbearable. Sweetheart, take it easy. We'll take her on her final journey. My little sister, my faithful friend, she is no longer with us. We go to the church to see her off, and my heart is torn apart with grief and sadness. Every step feels heavy, as if my legs have been stumped. I can't believe that she left us so suddenly. Our little bingo, her playful barking, her affectionate gaze, it all pops up so vividly in my mind, as if to hint at the incomprehensibility of what is happening. As I look at my parents, drowned in tears and grief, I realize that I now have a responsibility to be strong, to support them in this moment of difficult parting. It seems to me that my pain merges with their pain, creating an invisible bond that pulls us together across this dark line of fate. My dear ones, my heart breaks seeing your grief and tears at your loss. But let us come together in this difficult moment and find the strength to get through this together. I believe we have hope, we have a plan. As I left the church, I carried in my heart a hidden flame of hope for the return of our beloved Bingo. Suddenly, on the threshold of the church, I meet an old acquaintance, Alex. Her eyes emit a mysterious gleam and my spirit is seized by an unknown premonition. Alex holds out to me an ancient book with tattered pages on which the cherished words of the resurrection potion glisten in golden letters. I hear my heart sink with wonder and hope, the possibility of bringing back bingo, an impossibility I had thought impossible until this moment. The narrative in the book describes the prerequisite for acquiring the potion is to slay a dragon in Ender's world. Alex assures me that she has already prepared a portal to go to that world and will provide me with a diamond sword. My heart beats faster, mixed with excitement and danger. In the midst of my torn feelings came Alex's perky voice. You can do it. You'll find strength in your attachment to Bingo. An unknown future beckons me into the dark depths where a dragon awaits a test, a hope, or a curse. With trepidation in my heart and sword in hand, I stepped through the threshold of the magical portal to the world of Ender, anticipating an encounter with mysteries and trials that would steal my peace, but perhaps bring salvation. The weapon in my hand was a diamond sword from Alex, a symbol of my determination and hope for the return of our family joy. 
The path stretched through space and time, and a dragon appeared in front of me, the ruler of this world, the test of my soul and strength. My gaze meets his fiery eyes, emitting menacing light and shadow. My heart beats harder, my hand grips the hilt of my sword, and I realize that here and now the fate of Bingo, our family, and my soul will be decided. The dragon's power is incomparable, its teeth and claws piercing the air and earth, but I carry not only anger and fear, but also love and hope. The diamond sword glistens in my hands, my blows are precise and decisive, every attack is filled with my fortitude. With each passing second, the battle grows more intense, more deadly. Finally, the final blow, the diamond blade, pierces the heart of the dragon, spewing rage and fear. Its mighty body collapses, and Ender's world fills with peace and quiet. Finally, outside the church, I see my husband returning from Ender's world, shining with the light of an incredible journey and an unbearable challenge. My gaze meets his eyes, filled with wisdom and devotion, as if he has become a different person, new and special. Alex approaches us, carrying the resurrection potion, a symbol of our trust and faith in life. Every movement of her brush, every word, is filled with the magic and majesty of this moment. My husband takes the potion and my heart sinks in anticipation of wonder and change. My husband and I head toward the church, our footsteps seeming to call forth light and blessing, our family woven together in this moment of rebirth. The majestic church building feels like a sanctuary and a sanctuary at the same time, a place where miracles happen and where the full flow of time flows. My husband lifts the vial of the potion, a gift from Alex, and the magical breath of life sprays into the air like the music of the soul and the flight of a feathered bird. Silver light dust fills the space of the church, filling our hearts with delight and hope. Step by step, we return to our home. The world is imbued with an aura of renewal and magic. By my side is my wife, my support, and my joy. And together, we carry in our hearts the expectation of a miracle, the possibility of bringing our beloved Bingo back to life. As we make our way to our home, we discuss the fact that the resurrection potion given to us from Alex will not work until the next morning. This great moment of Bingo's return to our lives will be accompanied by a bright dawn a new day full of promise and hope. Our hearts are filled with anticipation and excitement. We share this sense of unity and confidence in the power of love and the great family bond. Together we know that our reunited existence will be fuller and brighter with the return of our faithful daughter. Together, hand in hand, we enter our home with hearts filled with faith and hope. Tomorrow's dawn will bring us not only a new day, but also the rebirth of our beloved Bingo, as if this morning dawn will bring us renewal and joy. Bingo's back! Oh, it's so good to see you, my little sister. We can't live without you. I'm so glad you're back in this world. Please take care of yourself. Daddy went a long way to resurrect you. Oh, look at her, how lively and joyful she is. Thank you for coming back to us, Bingo. We've all missed you. Let's all celebrate this return together. We can walk and play and enjoy our moments together. It's so good to see you back with us, dear Bingo. Look how much fun she's having jumping. Children, our favorite Bingo is back. What a wonderful day. I feel so happy. I don't regret my journey. It's a really wonderful day. We feel full and happy when our whole family is together again. Welcome home, Bingo. We all love you very much. Thank you so much, family. I am very happy to see you all again. I promise I will never leave home alone again. Thank you all so much for the rescue. It will be a lesson to me. Hey guys, how about taking part in an amazing competition to build a huge Coke can in Minecraft? I think it will be unforgettable. Taking part in the competition requires good preparation. Wow, that sounds interesting. I'm sure we can create something truly amazing. Let's start planning our future masterpiece construction. That's a great idea. Let's do our best to make our jar a true work of art. I can already imagine the wonderful decorations we'll add. I am ready to take on the responsibility of building the jar. I have some techniques that will help us create something unique and original. Let's put all our creativity into this project. 
You know, when I start building something new in Minecraft, it's like I'm plunged into my own world of creativity. Building this glass bottle is not just a task, it's an opportunity to express my creativity and see my ideas turn into reality. I start with the foundation. The base is the foundation of the entire construction. In the case of the glass bottle, this is exactly the moment when the shape, structure, and size of the future construction is determined. I carefully lay the blocks of glass, trying to create a harmonious combination of transparency and strength. And now, slowly but surely, the outline of the glass bottle is born before my eyes. Each block of glass is like a puzzle piece that needs to fit into the overall picture. I love that sense of balance and order when each element is in its place and the structure begins to take on its own unique shape. As I sit here in my Minecraft world and start building something my brother created, it's like inspiration has come over me. The mood, the creative energy, it's all the wind that fills my sails and allows me to sail on to new and uncharted waters. The base that my brother built for his glass bottle is like an architectural blueprint that outlines the contours of the future structure. It's like a map that I can follow, guided by his designs and ideas. And so it is that I begin to add my touches, my aesthetics, so that the construction gains wraps and shapes, tradition and innovation. Building in Minecraft isn't just a fun pastime, it's part of my creative process where I can add something of my own to the ideas of another. It's like a woven weave where every thread is important, every addition gives uniqueness to the building as a whole. When I build, I see in front of me not just blocks and textures, but a small petal of an idea that unfolds and becomes an amazing flower of creativity. Respecting the foundation laid by my brother, I try to complement it with my own vision, breathing new life into it, new images and motifs. And when my glass blocks combine with my brother's foundation, I see the final sketch of the glass bottle begin to come to life, begin to breathe its imaginary air. It's like magic when two creations come together to create something amazing and unique. When my husband and I sit down at the computer to start a new project in Minecraft, I can feel our creativity begin to stir and ignite in our hearts. Creating the foundation for our build is like the beginning of a great journey, where each step brings us closer to a common goal, making our dreams a reality. My husband and I always work as a team, complementing each other and encouraging inspiration. Building in the shape of a Coke can is not just a random idea. It is a symbol of our unity and family spirit. We try to create not just a building, but a work of art that will be memorable for us and the other players. As we begin laying blocks, creating the foundation for the future job, I can feel our unity permeating every element, every pattern and texture. Together, we strive for harmony and perfection, considering every detail and bringing a piece of our attention and care to it. Building in Minecraft is like a collective creation, where each block is a brick in the wall of our imaginary world. When I start building walls for our family project in Minecraft, I feel a whole world of possibilities and creativity unfolding before me. Creating the foundation for our future building has become more than just a task. It has become an exciting journey of creativity and imagination for me. Our Coke can project is not just a play structure, but for my wife and I, it is a symbol of our understanding, cooperation, and unity. As I begin to build the walls, I realize that each block, each recreated space, is infused with our shared energy, passion for creativity, and desire to create something special. Building walls is like creating a structure for our shared ideas and fantasies. I strive with every mouse movement to give the walls strength, durability, and beauty so that our project is not just beautiful, but functional, embodying our shared vision and goals. Each block, each layer of walls are like bricks in the foundation of our creation. As I lay these blocks, I see our building take shape and structure as it begins to come to life and become whole and complete. I cherish every moment of this process because to me it's not just a playful task, it's a creative expression of our unity as a family. I immerse myself in a world of creativity and fantasy, as if magic were taking hold of me. 
Creating the base for the bottle has become part of my own worldview, an expression of my imagination and the power of creation. As I lay down the blocks of glass, I see the contours of the bottle gradually take shape. As the whole structure begins to breathe a life of its own, it's like a miracle when your ideas start to become reality right on the screen, when every block, every mouse movement contributes to the splendor of creation. Every block, every alignment of glass is like bricks in the wall of my imaginary castle that I build with such passion and passion. I try to give the base for the bottle, not only strength and structure, but also beauty and harmony, so that it is not just a building, but a work of art. As the base becomes more and more complete, I start to think about the details that will make our bottle truly outstanding. And so I decide to add a label to the center of the bottle so that it is not just a glass structure, but has its own unique style and recognizability. Creating the label is one of the finishing touches to a masterpiece, a small detail that gives the construction its individuality and uniqueness. I start laying down the blocks with the same attention to detail, with the same commitment to perfection, so that the bottle becomes not just an object, but a piece that will be remembered for years to come. So with every block, with every mouse movement, I'm getting closer to completing our glass bottle that will not just be a building in Minecraft, but a symbol of our imagination, creativity, and coming together. We're not just creating a game building, we're creating a place where every detail speaks to our inspiration and passion for creativity. When I see the label my brother created for our glass bottle in Minecraft, I feel like I have an opportunity to contribute to make it even more exquisite and unique. It's more than just improving a detail, it's our joint opportunity to create something truly magnificent. As I begin to refine the label, I realize that every detail matters. Every change brings a new element of beauty and uniqueness to our creation. My goal is to keep my brother's original idea and give it an extra touch by adding elements of sophistication and elegance. I proceed with care, striving to maintain the character and style of the label my brother created. I add patterns, decorations, and color accents to create a new layer of beauty and depth. Each block, each addition contributes to the overall look of the label, making it more colorful and appealing. When I see the final result, I feel that my brother and I were able to create something truly amazing. My work didn't just complement his idea, it gave it new inspiration and energy. I feel like our work together brought a spark and beauty to our project, making it even more wonderful and unique. So when I finalize the label, I feel proud and happy that I was able to contribute to our shared creativity. My brother and I didn't just create a building in Minecraft, we created a piece of art that will remind us of our inspiration, collaboration, and love of creativity. As I resume building our glass bottle in Minecraft, I can feel how every block, every mouse movement brings me closer to completing this amazing project. Our family creative work becomes more amazing and inspiring with each new step. Following the creative process started with my sister, I decide to improve the bottle by adding a new element to its design. Starting by creating the neck and narrowing down the construction, I aim to create not just an object in Minecraft, but a piece of art that will reflect our imagination and creativity. When building the neck, I try to pay special attention to detail, perfecting its shape and structure so that it blends seamlessly into the overall look of our bottle. Each block I place brings a new element of zest, a new moment of beauty that gives the construction sophistication and elegance. As I narrow the construction above the label, I pay attention to proportion and harmony so that each element fits together to create a complete and aesthetically pleasing whole. My mouse movements become more determined to bring our future glass bottle to perfection. As I finish the neck and taper the construction, I feel our Minecraft project take on a new dimension, a new air, a new inspiration. My thoughts are filled with ideas and desire to make our bottle extraordinary and magnificent so that it becomes not just an object, but a true work of art that will delight us for many days to come. 
So as I complete this stage of the build, I feel filled with joy and fulfillment, knowing that our glass bottle is becoming more and more unique and inspiring. Our family creation continues to grow and evolve, and I am happy to be a part of this exciting process. When I get down to finishing the neck of our glass bottle in Minecraft, I can feel my inner creative fire flaring brighter. It's a moment when I can contribute to the overall creativity and make our build even more attractive and exquisite. As I refine the neck, I try to give it a more harmonious shape, considering each block of glass as if I were molding them into my own masterpiece. Each movement of the mouse, each refinement of details, brings us closer to creating a truly wonderful object that will adorn our Minecraft world. When the neck takes on a finished look, I dive into creating the bottle cap. This is a new challenge for my creativity, where every element, every shape, contributes to the overall beauty of the construction. I strive for the cap to be not just a detail, but an embellishment that will emphasize the uniqueness of our bottle. Gradually, block by block, I build the lid, inspired by ideas that come to mind during the creative process. My goal is not just to create a functional piece, but to put a piece of my soul into it so that the cap becomes an integral part of the overall artwork. When the bottle cap is finally completed, I feel mixed feelings of joy and satisfaction. This creative process was not just a game for me. It was a true test of my imagination and skills. I'm glad I was able to contribute to this project and help create something beautiful and amazing. So every block, every mouse movement, every detail of our glass bottle in Minecraft reminds me that together we are capable of great feats of creativity and imagination. It's not just a building, it's our shared creative creation that is filled with our inspiration and love of creating. When I go back to work on our Minecraft project, I see in front of me not just walls and blocks, but an opportunity to collaborate with my mom to create something amazing. Building walls for our tin can, shaped building is not just a job. It's an opportunity to share ideas, creativity, and inspiration. Being inspired by our shared creative process, I strive to create walls that will not just be the foundation for our tin can, but also its decoration. Every block, every alignment, every mouse movement brings beauty and functionality to our construction and makes it vibrant and inviting. Working with my mom, we discuss details of wall design, ideas for decoration, color combinations. It's not just building in Minecraft, it's a joint creation where everyone contributes their own input and energy to create a common masterpiece. We strive for harmony and beauty, for our construction to be not just a game object, but a work of art. As I build the walls of our jar, I begin to realize how important our work together is. Every block, every corner of the wall is a piece of our creativity, our love of beauty, and desire to create something unique. Together, we form not just a building, but a place where our dreams and fantasies are realized. As we continue to create our tin can in Minecraft, I am beginning to see it not just as an object, but as a symbol of our understanding, our harmony and unity. We're not just creating a play structure, we're creating a world that reflects our shared energy and creativity. So as I work with my mom to build the walls for our tin can, I realize how important it is to be able to create together, pouring a piece of our soul and passion for creativity into our building. It's not just the building process. It's an experience that strengthens our family bond and makes our work in Minecraft truly special and meaningful. As my hands go back into creativity to finish building the roof for our jar in Minecraft, I feel every block, every mouse movement become part of the overall creative process. Building the roof isn't just about adding the top to our building. It's the final touch that will give it completeness and finality. Building off of the walls my husband previously created, I begin creating the roof in an effort to maintain the style and aesthetics of the structure. Each block each corner of the roof is an extension of the creative impulse that came from him. Thoughts of a shared project, of creating together, 
fill my heart with joy and inspiration. As I lay the blocks of glass to create the shape of the roof, I feel it begin to come alive, taking on its own uniqueness and character. My decisions about the shape, proportions, and details of the roof reflect not only my vision, but also our shared desire for beauty and harmony. My goal is not just to complete the building, but to create a roof that harmoniously complements the walls and adds completeness to our tin can. I consider every detail, every design element, so that the roof becomes not just a roof, but an important part of the image of the whole building. Gradually, my roof takes on its own personality and beauty, reflecting my inspiration and creative energy. Every block, every effort brings our family building not only style and elegance, but also a part of our strength and love of creativity. Love. Building an entrance wall is not just about creating an opening. It is an opportunity to add elements of decor and style that will give our bottle a unique and personal touch. I try to pay special attention to every detail so that the entrance becomes not only functional, but also inviting, welcoming anyone who wants to look inside our creative world. Having built the entrance wall, I move on to the back of the bottle, the bottom of the bottle. This is the point where I can create the foundation that will support the entire structure of our building. I try to give the rear part not only strength, but also grace, so that every element of our bottle is thoughtful and beautiful. Gradually, block by block, I create the bottom of the bottle, considering every angle and every layer to ensure the right shape and structure. My goal is not just to finish this stage, but to make it part of the overall harmony and beauty of our bottle. I strive to create a complete and finished design that is pleasing to the eye and soul. When I finish the entry wall and bottom, I feel satisfaction and pride in being able to contribute to our family project. As my wife and I begin to install beds and chests in our Minecraft build, I feel each block, each piece of furniture become part of our comfort and coziness. Creating a cozy corner in our virtual home becomes an important step for us to create together and strengthen our family bonds. Installing the chests is another step in creating our unique space. We do it together, sharing ideas and solutions to make each chest comfortable and functional. When I get down to adding names to a bottle label in Minecraft, I feel like a real designer bringing my own ideas to life in virtual reality. Creating a label is not just a task, it is an opportunity to add personality and uniqueness to our construction, to make it memorable and original. When thinking up and putting names on the label, I strive for each word to reflect the essence of our bottle, to embody its character and atmosphere. Each letter, each name becomes part of the history of our construction, adding a touch of mystery and interest to our creation. Check out our new build in Minecraft, kids. We decided to recreate a tin can of cola, adding the logo on the sides, the building itself we made of blocks of wool, as well as made two entrances from the bottom and the can opener. As well as it can be lived in it inside, we have placed beds and chests in which you can store things. Well, I don't think it's the most original idea. We could have come up with something more creative, but still, I love our building, and I can't wait to see what your Coke bottle looks like. Good, then let's hurry over to our building. Me and Bluey will be very happy to show you around. Wow, our kids built a model of a glass cola bottle. Look what a creative idea they have. It is a masterpiece, made almost entirely of glass. I feel that it was very difficult to keep the right proportions. Congratulations to you favorite kids. You managed to beat us. You got a very worthy- Hey guys, I found out about a cool competition in Minecraft today. We have to build a house in the shape of a bus. How about that? I can already see us all creating our unique bus house together. This is going to be the best family trip in Minecraft. I will take care of the frame construction and the technical part to make our bus not only beautiful, but also functional. And I'm going to decorate the inside of the bus house. You and me, Bingo, we're gonna make it a real cozy home. So let's get on with the competition, shall we? I decided today to take on the task of building this amazing bus house. I already have the whole concept in my head. Mom will take on the cozy interior Bingo for the stylish decorations, Dad for the technical part. In the meantime, I'm going to start with the construction of the frame itself. 
We need to make sure that each block is exactly in its place so that the house will be even and strong. And here's where the front will be. And here's where the windows will be. I can already see how amazing our bus house is going to look. It's so exciting. Now the whole frame is ready. Now we will have to start finishing to make this coach house truly unique. I hope the rest of the family will pick up on my initiative and put their hearts and souls into this construction. Today, my brother Bluey created an amazing framework for our future motorhome. I watched him put all his energy and hard work into each block to create the foundation of our project. Now, it's my turn to add my ideas and bring this house to life. For nothing, and I get to work. Not only do the walls need to be sturdy, but they also need to be beautiful. The doors I install should make it feel cozy and safe. The steps I place should be comfortable for everyone in our family. The color scheme of the units plays an important role. I strive to create a harmonious design that reflects our family warmth and joy. Each new addition makes our home look more and more like a real bus. The work continues, and I am more and more convinced that our bus house will become not just a structure, but a place where each of us will find joy and comfort. Our efforts are combined in this virtual world to create something truly magical. I look at the walls, doors, and steps I have created and smile. Our project together is growing in significance and beauty. It's not just building, it's creating an abode that will be filled with the warmth and love of our family. As I approach the completion of my part of the work, I feel that our family's Minecraft creation is not only fun, but also strengthens our bond. Our motorhome will be a place where we are all happy and inspired by our creativity together. The last block wheel is left behind, and they already look in place. The process of installing the headlights is another step in creating the look of a real bus. The installation of each block is a pleasure and a feeling of completion. As the last headlight takes its place, I can see our coach house taking on its own personality and character. The light of the headlights makes it seem conceivable, as if it is ready to go on an exciting journey through the world of Minecraft. Wheels and headlights are not just design details. They give our motorhome liveliness and dynamism. Now it looks not just like a structure, but like a real transportation that can take us to new adventures and stories. As I look at the completed work of my sister Bingo, I realize that she, more than anyone else, is able to bring a unique charm and style to our structure. Her ideas and creativity truly make our coach house unique. Now, it's my turn to contribute and add my details to make our project even more realistic and cozy. These are the lanterns. They look absolutely gorgeous. The red glass tail lights I'm installing give our coach house a real style and personality. The slit my sister left for them is as if designed specifically to emphasize their beauty. Installing windows is the next step. They should not only be a source of light and fresh air, but also please the eye with their appearance. I smoothly incorporate the window units to create a cozy atmosphere inside our motorhome. You can see the light playing on the windows and they begin to give our home a realness and life. Each new window adds not only functionality, but also charm, making our space even more inviting and cozy. With each lantern and window installed, I can feel our motor home getting closer to completion. My sister and I are doing virtual construction, just as if it were a real creative journey where every detail has its own significance. As I look at the empty land in front of me, I realize that this is the beginning of something amazing. Together with my husband, we begin building the foundation and walls of our motorhome. From blocks of dirt in our virtual world, we create a cozy dwelling for our family. Our house will be more compact and narrow, but that's just an extra hurdle we can deal with. I begin laying blocks of dirt, creating the foundation of the house, which will be much needed for the strength and stability of our bus house. My husband is beside me, and each block we lay with love and care brings us closer to completing this exciting project. We are joining forces to create a place where each of us will feel at home, no matter where we are. The walls are gradually growing under our hands, and each new layer of blocks brings us closer to our dream of a cozy coach house. We consider every aspect of construction, compactness, durability, 
and convenience to create a comfortable space for our family. Together with my husband, we are creating not just a home, but a symbol of our togetherness and strength to withstand any challenge. With each new block, I feel our family bond being affirmed and strengthened, bringing us even closer together. As the hours pass, we continue to work alongside my husband, creating a unique space where we all find comfort and joy. After completing the foundation and walls of our coach house, I am taking on the installation of the stairs and door. Made of wood, they should give our home not only functionality, but also the warmth of the natural material. I begin to slowly lay each board, feeling our home becoming more and more livable. As I look at our unfinished bus house, I realize it's time to breathe more life into it. I set about installing the wheels that will make our coach house truly movable and ready for adventure. With each wheel installed, our house takes on the appearance of a real vehicle. Installing windows is the next step. Not only do they let in light, but they allow us to enjoy the views of the Minecraft virtual world from inside our cozy bus house. I put each glass block in place as if creating a framework for our future adventures. Every window, every wheel, they become not just details, but symbols of freedom and movement. Our motorhome becomes not just a place where we live, but a means of travel that takes us to new horizons and opens us up to endless possibilities. With each wheel and window installed, I feel that we are creating not just a structure, but a true symbol of our family harmony and joint efforts. We realize dreams and ideas in every detail, making our motorhome unique and memorable. Seeing how the windows fill our home with light and the wheels add character and personality, I realize that each element has its own significance. We don't just build a house. We fulfill our dreams, hopes, and ideas by making it special and unique. As we install the last wheel and close the last window, I feel like we have created not just a motor home, but a true work of art and family labor. Every detail, every step brings us closer to completing this amazing journey in the world of Minecraft. And on the outside, all I have left to do is put on the headlights. With the foundation and first floor of our motorhome completed, it was time to start creating the second floor. I am beginning to lay blocks, creating space for additional living and coziness. The second floor will be a place where we can enjoy the views and beauty of the virtual world of Minecraft. Setting the walls and flooring of the second floor brings a sense of completion and coziness. I am diligently tamping down blocks of dirt to create a solid and secure foundation. Each new layer brings us closer to the completion of this amazing building project. As construction continues, I begin installing the roof. The mud blocks that will make it up will give our motorhome a special charm and uniqueness. I carefully line up each block so that it is not only sturdy but stylish as well. The roof becomes the final touch that will complete our project and give it completeness and finality. On the second floor, I no longer see it as just a structure, but a place where our family will spend time in comfort and tranquility. The walls and roof I am creating create an environment that will be filled with warmth and comfort. Every block, every part of the roof brings us closer to the moment when we can enjoy our unique motorhome in all its glory. Once the exterior work is complete, it's time to start furnishing the motorhome from the inside. In this virtual space, which we have created together, I plan to install everything necessary for the comfortable living of our family. Practicality, coziness, and functionality are the main criteria that guide me. I am starting with the installation of the beds. I strive to create cozy sleeping places where each of us can rest after a busy day of virtual adventures. Each bed is set up to maximize comfort and convenience. Then I move on to the installation of chairs. They will not only be functional pieces of furniture, but also symbols of our family bonding. Together at the table, looking at virtual Minecraft landscapes, we will be able to discuss our plans, dreams, and ideas. Lamps are an important element of the furnishings. I install them so that the motorhome is permeated not only with warm light, but also with an atmosphere of coziness and security. The light of the lamps fills our space with the promise of warm evenings and family gatherings, 
Ventilation plays an important role too. I provide a constant flow of fresh air so that each of us can breathe easily and comfortably. Taking care of our family's health and comfort is of paramount importance to me. Looking at the cozy space that my brother and I have created, I realize that it's my turn to start installing the steering wheel and driver's seat, the most important elements of the motorhome. The steering wheel is not just a piece of control, but a symbol of our future adventures in this virtual world. I put it in place with love, anticipating future trips and explorations. The next step is to install the driver's seat. It needs to be comfortable and inviting so that each of us can feel like a real driver of our motorhome. I arrange the seat so that it fits the overall design and provides optimal comfort during our trips through the virtual world of Minecraft. After finalizing the driver's cabin, I move on to creating the interior staircase to the second floor. Each step becomes a bridge to new adventures and exploration. I carefully stack the blocks so that each staircase is not only functional, but also beautiful, adding to the charm of our motorhome. The staircase to the second floor not only connects the levels of the house, but also symbolizes the rise to new horizons and possibilities. I see each step as a stepping stone to new discoveries and adventures. It is in these moments that we see how every detail takes on meaning, filling our coach house with the warmth of a family nest and excitement for the uncharted paths of the virtual world. Looking at the staircase installed, I realize that it's time to start creating the interior decoration of the second floor of our motorhome. Here, upstairs, we will spend time in comfort and tranquility, enjoying the views of the virtual world of Minecraft. I start by building the floor, the foundation on which all our home coziness will be conducted. As I lay the blocks that create the base of the second floor, I try to give them not only strength, but also style. Every block, every detail, they contribute to the overall look and comfort of our motorhome. I can see how each block laid brings us closer to the completion of this unique project. After the floor is finished, I begin installing the walls and windows on the second floor. Walls should be more than just space dividers. They should create an atmosphere of coziness and warmth. Windows are not only a source of light, but also a joyful opportunity to enjoy the views and be inspired by the world around us. Installing windows brings new light inside our motorhome. I can see the light playing on the walls, creating a cozy atmosphere on the second floor. Each window becomes a bridge to the outside world, bringing new possibilities and perspectives. With each floor block laid, each wall built and window installed, I feel that we are creating not just a home, but a place of inspiration and joy. The second floor becomes a symbol of our family coziness and warmth, a place where we can spend time in harmony, joy and happiness. Looking at the completed second floor with the floor walls and windows installed, I feel proud of our family's hard work and creativity. The entire motorhome now takes on a new life filled with light, warmth, and comfort. Every detail, every unit brings its own contribution to the creation of this amazing place. Our motorhome becomes not just a structure, but a place where we can be together, happy and inspired. All the energy and joy put into this project makes it special and meaningful. We are creating not just a home, but a sanctuary for our family filled with love and the warmth of our hearts. After completing the second floor, I climb to the highest point of our motorhome to begin creating the roof. This final touch will be the final accent of our labor and co-creation. I take the blocks and begin to slowly lay them down, creating a canopy that will protect our home and emphasize its uniqueness. Each roof block installed brings us closer to the completion of this exciting construction. I try to create not just a roof, but a real shield that protects us from all the hardships and rains in the indoor and virtual world of our motorhome. Every block, every movement, reminds me how important it is to create together, supporting each other and realizing our dreams. 
The second floor is complete, and now our cozy motorhome is ready to be furnished with stuffing. The first thing I'm taking on is installing lamps to fill our space with light and coziness. The light from the lamps will warm us and spread warmth throughout the house, making it even more inviting and cozy for our family. Next, I will proceed to install the railings for the stairs. They will not only be a safety feature, but also a stylistic accent that completes the look of our motorhome. Each railing is carefully installed to blend in with the overall style and emphasize the beauty and functionality of our shelter. The next step is the installation of the workbench and communal chest. The workbench will be a place where we can improve our skills and create new items and blocks. The communal chest will unify our inventory and resources, making them available to all family members. These interior areas will become the heart of our cozy motorhome, the place where our ideas and possibilities come together. Finally, I'm getting down to setting up the cooking stove and chairs. The stove will become a place where we cook and socialize as we come together over a shared meal. The chairs invite us to sit down and enjoy the delicious meals created in our virtual kitchen. Here, at the table, we will spend many pleasant moments with our family. Dear friends, today it is with great joy that I want to share with you our latest accomplishments. We, my brother and I, have finally completed the construction of our home and I couldn't be happier. Every day, every hour, we devoted all of our energy to this project and to all of the scheduled work to create our cozy nest. And so, today I am happy to tell you that we have finished the second floor of our home. Now we have two cozy rooms. Each of them is furnished with taste and care. Each room has a comfortable bed to relax on after a hard day and a bookshelf to store our favorite books. This process was not only difficult and challenging for us, but also very important and meaningful. We learned to work together, trust each other, find compromises, and solve problems. My brother and I became even closer, even stronger, and even more confident that together we can do anything. Now, looking at our house, I feel proud and grateful. We have overcome all the challenges, and now we have a place where we can relax, enjoy, and spend time together. This house is filled with our love, our dreams, and our labor, and I am sure that warmth and comfort will reign here, and our guests will feel at home. I am grateful to everyone who has been with us on this journey, who helped, supported, and believed in us. Thank you, dear friends, for your support and attention. Yay, bingo! Finally, we have built our house, in which was invested a lot of effort and time. Now let's, as soon as our parents come to us, let them evaluate our house and then compare their house bus with ours. Children, I am so proud of you. Your home looks so beautiful and cozy. I can see how much work and love you put into creating it. Those rooms on the second floor look great. Each one has its own unique style. And your beds are so comfortable and your bookshelves are full of interesting books. It's such a joy to stop by and visit. Yes, Dad. Thank you for your support and help. We are very happy that together with Bluey, we were able to complete this construction and create such a wonderful home. We learned a lot by working together. And now we can proudly say that our house is the result of our work together and our love for each other. We are glad that you like our house very much. Let's go and visit you and look around your house. Wow, sister. Look at our parents. They are so good they were able to build such an amazing motor home out of dirt. I never thought such a thing was possible. And how did they manage to make it so creative and original? Hi guys, today we will be competing between parents in building a secret base. After which we will be sure to rate each one. What do you say to a secret base building competition? Let's find out who's the really cool builder in our family. That sounds exciting. I'm ready for this challenge. Let's show the parents that our team is undefeated and capable of better builds. Yeah, let's do it. What if we add secret passageways and encrypted access devices? That would make our base truly unique. Hey kids, I don't mind participating in this exciting competition either. Let's build a base that would make even spies jealous. 
we can add garden elements to camouflage the base and traps to protect it from unwanted guests. Let's transform our backyard into a place of true adventure. I'm ready to join this game too. Let's have a family building contest to show that we have a real talent for creativity. Let's also add a communication system so we can stay connected and coordinate our work. Our base will be a true masterpiece. Today, our family project begins with my hands and my ideas. I am standing in front of the empty space outlined for our future home, and I already have a clear image in my head of what my sister and I will create. It's not just building, it's creating a corner of family warmth and comfort where every detail will be filled with our inspiration and love. Pile by pile, I am hammering in the foundation of our future home, feeling each hammer blow bringing us closer to our goal. It's not just earth and sand, it's the foundation upon which our family history, our team, our one and only home will stand. As I gaze into the distance, I see my sister begin to dig a hole for the pool, and the sight fills me with a sense of shared labor, a sense of creativity that unites us in this project. We are acting as one, each contributing, each step directed toward creating, not just a base or a pool, but a place where joy will resound, where laughter and fun will be present, where our most joyful moments will be stored. Every hole, every pile, every detail of our future home takes on meaning and significance. We are not just building walls and a pool. While my brother is busy building the foundation for our future house, my task is to create a swimming pool, which will become a unique decoration of our coziness. Taking a shovel in my hands, I start digging a hole, imagining how great it will be to splash in this water after a day of work, enjoying the calmness and freshness of the water. Every bucket of earth I dump out reminds me that I am contributing to a common cause, that our family project is becoming a reality because of our mutual labor and effort. The feeling of satisfaction of creating something with your own hands is unrivaled. Every step I take brings us closer to the completion of the project, to the time when our pool will be ready for use. I envision us spending time here together as a family, enjoying our shared labor and creative process. The pool will be a place where we can escape from the hustle and bustle, relax and enjoy a moment of rest. Every stone, every shovel of earth I use to create the pool fills me with a sense of responsibility and joy. This pool will become not just a part of our home, but a symbol of our family interaction, our ability to work together and create beauty around us. Thus, every touch of my hands on the soil, every movement of the shovel, brings us closer to the completion of our family project. The pool will be a place of joy, fun, and inspiration, where we can find solace and joy in our cozy corner of family happiness. Construction is not just physical labor. It is building a foundation for the future. It is the embodiment of caring for your family and wanting to create comfort and coziness for them. Today, I start digging the ground for the foundation of our future house, and each clod of earth gets its own meaning and its own value in the creation of this special place. Every brick wall, every corner of the house will embody my concern for our family, for the safety and coziness we will all enjoy. The sound of a shovel loosening the earth reminds me that each stroke is a step toward our common project, toward creating what will be the foundation of our family happiness. With each new bucket of earth I throw out, I feel the building process affirming our place in this corner of the world. This is not just a house, it is our haven, our refuge from the cares of life, our place of joy and well-being. Laying each floorboard is not just a process. It's about laying the foundation for our future steps and movements in this home. I strive to make this floor not just comfortable, but to fill it with our care, our warmth and kindness, so that every step we take on this floor reminds us of the importance of family bonds. This floor will become not just a base for our walks around the house, but a symbol of the warmth and comfort we all create together. My work is not just about laying a floor, it is about creating a part of our family world where every detail has its own meaning and significance. Each brick, each layer of concrete becomes not just a part of the building process, but a symbol of our family unity. I feel that my labor is not just a job, 
It is caring for our future, for our dreams and hopes. The process of building walls brings me a sense of strength and confidence. Every brick, every corner that I create becomes a pillar for our future moments of joy and happiness. I see these walls not only as protection from winds and rain, but also as a symbol of our inner strength and cohesiveness. Installing windows gives the house not only visible structure, but also mental harmony. Each window is a gateway to a world of light and warmth that we will share together as a family. My dream is that our windows become not only a source of light, but also a symbol of our desire to share a sense of coziness and warmth. In every effort, every movement, I am awakened with a sense of responsibility and pride in being able to build not just a house, but a personal space where we will all find our place and our joy. Building is not just physical labor, it is a creative and personal contribution to creating a place where we will all feel at home. Thus, by laying the foundation, building the walls, and installing the windows, I am creating not just a house, but our common history, our common dreams and values. This house will be not just a building, but a symbol of our unity, our love, and our desire to create a place where we will all be happy and protected. I hope our house will be more beautiful because of the pool my sister made, and the base will be more secure and hidden than our parents. Brother, your work is very good. I have no doubt that our work will be better than Mum and Dad's, and we will win this competition. In every move, in every moment, I put my energy, my care, and my desire to create a place where we can grow and develop together as a family. As I lay each brick, put up each window, I think about our competitions with our children, about who will create the best secret base, the children or us parents. The walls of the house surrounding our lives become not just building blocks, but a symbol of our support, our unity, and our belief in family values. In every effort, in every moment, I wonder which of us can create a more amazing place full of mystery and mystery. My children and I act as competitors, but at the same time, we are a united family whose goal is to create not just a base, but a sanctuary where there is room for each of us, for each of our dreams. As I build walls and install windows, I am immersed in thinking about the significance of our family project. Each element, each step of construction is an opportunity to realize that the strength of our home is not only in its construction, but in our relationships, in how we work together, how we solve problems, and how we create a shared future. So while building walls and installing windows, I realize that the winner of this competition is not who builds the best base, but who can create a place of love, understanding, and support. And I believe that our base, being filled with our interaction and family spirit, will be the best, not just in the game, but in real life. Today I decided to join my husband in building the roof of our future home together. Lifting each board, installing each rafter, I feel our family project becoming more and more real. It's not just a roof over our heads, it's a symbol of our protection, comfort and warmth that we are creating for our family. Together my husband and I are laying the roof, reflecting our shared desire to build not just a house but our dwelling. A place for each of us, for our dreams and hopes. Every nail, every detail becomes part of our labor together and our family pattern. How together we create not just a roof, but a shared shelter over our heads that is filled with our love and endeavor. As we continue our creative inspiration, we begin to furnish the interior of the home. By laying flooring, arranging furniture and decorations, we give our home our individual imprint making it a unique and cozy place for our family. Each interior detail becomes part of our history, our memories, and our shared space. We then decide together to install a passageway to a secret base so that our home becomes not just a place to live, but a place of adventure and family secrets. As we move confidently toward this task, we build not just a door, but a symbol of the possibilities and new horizons we are ready to explore together. I am pleased to see my wife actively joining in our work together and helping me build a passageway to the secret base of our future home. Watching her put her efforts into every detail with such zeal and skill, I can't help but feel pride and respect for our work together and our family bond. So,
By building the passageway to the secret base with my wife, I am not only creating a functional element in our home, but also strengthening our relationship, our mutual understanding, and our family unity. Together, we are building not just a door, but a symbol of the new opportunities, secrets, and adventures that lie ahead of us. I am excited to accept my sister's help in installing the floor of our future home. Working together, we are not only creating a functional flooring for our home, but also strengthening the bond that binds us together as a family. Every effort, every movement in this process reminds me that working together and helping each other are key components of our family building project. As I lay each floorboard, each layer of flooring, I reflect on the significance of this action. The floor is not just a surface for our feet, it is the foundation upon which we will build our lives in our new home. It will be the place where we will share joy, fight through challenges, and build our dreams together. As we are in the process of installing the floor, I am contemplating our secret base. Not only will this element of our home hide secrets and adventures, but it will symbolize our understanding, our togetherness, and our desire to create a place where each of us feels protected and loved. So, as I work alongside my sister to install the floor and reflect on the base, I realize that it is in the little things, the mundane moments like laying the floor, that the essence of our building process together lies. Every step, every detail, is not just part of the interior, but a reflection of our relationship, our care for each other. Honey, here we are finally finished building our house. How about we make a trip to the kids' house and see what they've done in the meantime? Of course it's a wonderful idea, dear. I'm sure our boys haven't been idle either. Let's go over there and see what they've managed to set up. I am incredibly happy to see my wonderful children. Their smiles, their sincere eyes, their lively energy fill my heart with such joy and pride. How much I love them, how much I want to hug them and thank them for what they are to me. Watching them play before my eyes and watching them laugh and have fun, I feel that my life is filled with meaning and joy. But what I am especially intrigued and mesmerized by is your secret base. I am so incredibly eager to see this place where they make their fantasies and dreams come true. I want to show you, my parents, the results of our joint labor. Our house, which has become a place of comfort, warmth and happiness. Every detail, every corner of our house contains our dreams, our hopes, our desires to create a place of love and comfort. Every element of the house reminds me of our common efforts, our mutual understanding and our family bond, which gives me strength and joy. I look forward to seeing our base and to taking in the atmosphere of secrecy, wonder and inspiration we have put into this place. Here we are at our secret base, very excited to show it to you, as we worked very hard with Bluey to create it. You know, when I look at our secret base, it's like I don't just see walls and objects, but a whole world of possibilities and imagination. It's a place where I, along with Bluey, make all of our dreams and fantasies come true. And even though we are ordinary children, here in our base we become the creators of our own unique world. Please take a look inside our base, parents. Here we have built an amazing space where every detail matters. Let me tell you about every corner, every device that Bluey and I have worked so hard to create. Here, behind these glass doors, you'll see computers that have become not only tools for play, but also a source of learning and inspiration for us. We used them to learn new things, to create and develop our ideas. Every key, every screen was an opportunity for us to find new horizons and expand our knowledge. And these beds, they are not just a place to rest, but a place where we build our dreams in our sleep. Here, in this zone of coziness, we find peace and are energized for new creative feats. Every pillow, every blanket is a part of our relaxation and dreams. And of course, pay attention to this closet. This is where we keep our most intimate things, our secrets, our favorite toys. Every closet, every drawer, 
is a part of our world, our order and our system. And lastly, let me tell you about our very special device, the back door. It leads us to amazing places and unexpected adventures. It is a symbol of our desire to learn and explore, to make new discoveries and opportunities. Parents, walk with me through this base, every corner, and you will see how our love, our creativity, and our desire to share it all with you is embedded in every little detail. In our base, Bluey and I find our own little corner of happiness and inspiration, and I'm so happy to share it with you all. You really managed to impress us with your secret base. I can feel how much effort you put into it. Your dad and I really like this base, but how about we get out of here and walk to our secret base? Ah! How I look forward to the moment when my gorgeous wife and I get to see the secret base that our children have so diligently and lovingly created. I feel excitement and joy in anticipation of this introduction to their creation. Every time I think about our family base, my heart fills with pride for my children. They carry out their ideas with such enthusiasm and skill that I just can't wait to see what it all looks like in reality. My wife and I have long dreamed of shared time in this unique place where their fantasies and our family inspiration are realized. I'm sure every corner of the base will be filled with surprises, mysteries, and bits of our home warmth. Our dear children, gathered around, this is the moment when we will finally present you our secret base. Daddy and I have put all our inspiration our ideas and our love into it, and there is no limit to my happiness, showing you this miracle we have been able to create. First, here's a glimpse of that back door, the place where the mysterious adventures just begin. It leads us to corners of fantasy and mystery, to a space where new paths and possible worlds open up. It's a place where every step is a step into the unknown, where dreams become reality. And here, a huge dressing room, where every piece Every dress becomes part of our imaginary world. Here we can change our look, create images and try on different roles. It's a place where we can be whoever we want to be, whenever we want to be, just by taking the right outfit from this magical place. And how about this twin bed? Here, in this corner of coziness, we can enjoy family moments, talk, read books together, and share our thoughts and feelings. It's a place where we can be closer to each other, where we can spend quiet time in shared harmony and love. And of course, don't forget this magnificent library full of books and stories. Here we can immerse ourselves in the world of words, discover new treasures of literature, and travel through time and space. It is a place where every book is a new adventure, where we can learn about the world and ourselves. Everyone in our house, friends and family, today I want to bring our secret base contest to a close. This day was filled with joy, creativity, and inspiration, and now I am proud to announce that both secret bases, the one our parents created and the one my sister and I created, both won this competition. We were amazed at the creativity and passion we saw in both bases. Secret passageways, cozy nooks, huge closets, twin beds, libraries, and so many other elements were all part of the amazing world we created in our home. Each base reflects our dreams, our ideas, and our feelings. And they have become not just places to play, but real symbols of our unity and family harmony. I want to express my sincere gratitude to our parents for their participation in this competition. Their creativity, passion, and love that they put into creating their base was a source of inspiration for us all. Thus, let our secret bases be a symbol of our family warmth, creativity, and understanding. The winners today are not the bases, but our family as a whole, our unity, and our mutual inspiration. May this victory remind us all that together, with love and passion,